blend all this in with my little silicone sponge got a hold of the control and he knows how to turn up the volume now so he will turn it up to freaking 100 Leo no <gasps> do you guys hear that you don't need it that high baby <laughs> and he did it <laughs> So this thing, I put on a little too much concealer, so I'm just going to wipe it off right here. I love this concept though, how you can just wipe it off. Oh, now he's angry. Okay, and keep blending. Okay. Guys, I think I love this, actually. And then I'm just gonna go in with my, actually with this little brush and then just blend out the edges. It's not necessary, I just, I don't know, it's just in my head. Okay, now we're gonna do the other eye. I'm taking my sweet time going extra on my makeup today because I am wearing, oh, wearing. I'm waiting for my Tiffany earrings to get delivered. Ugh, only thing I, I hate about Tiffany, it's like having a really expensive car. You don't want to take it to any, just any mechanic if it's a really expensive car because, you know, you don't want them to change something and make it worse or whatever. You want the parts to stay original. Why is it focusing over there? So, um, same with Tiffany. I was scared that if I took it to another jeweler, they would change out the parts and it not be an original earring anymore. So, I decided to just send it into Tiffany Plus. Sorry, I just saw a lot. Plus, I saw a lot of jewelers that um, were not willing to fix them because of the name. Which is a little ridiculous, but I was like, whatever. I think that's also why I decided maybe I don't leave it with just any jeweler. Because what if they change out the parts? You know what I mean? Like, what if they give me one of their pearls instead of the Tiffany one I had? And they keep the Tiffany one in resell. I don't know, that really freaks me out. So I'm like, I mean, I was going to pay around the same price to get it fixed so much. So just send it into Tiffany. But the only thing that's annoying is that it took like three weeks to get it fixed like from getting there to getting fixed and then coming back to me so it's been around three weeks and they've been trying to deliver it for the past three days but i have not been home and i kept forgetting to leave that slip where it says they can leave it at my door outside so then i would get here and i would have a new slip so i was like oh my god so i just put it as soon as i woke up i put it on my door this morning just in case because i'm planning on being here for a while but 
just in case I'm to leave, I won't forget and the slip will already be on the door, so yeah. I'm excited to finally get them because I have not been wearing earrings for a while, so I'm excited. Okay guys, so I really like this sponge, but just like any other time, I mean, even with my beauty blender, I like to go in with my brush and then the blender or with the blender and then my brush. It just, I like using both. I just like how it looks better, but yeah. And then now I'm just gonna wipe this thing off and good ass new. Tell you, tell you the truth guys, I loved it. And like, my skin looks super blend out. It doesn't look, uh, great, what's it called? Cakey, it's a little cakey, but it looks cute, if you know what I mean. It looks like loomy cakey, I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna take my little, I don't know what this brush is, and I need to wash it, it's disgusting. The tapered, Highlighter brush from Sigma, and I'm gonna use my Charlotte, my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder to blend everything. Leo. And I'm gonna fast forward this because I am gonna be doing a foundation, foundation routine very soon. So. So I just put on my outfit. I'm wearing this little long cardigan. It goes down to my knees. Like, I hope you can see. No, let me put the camera a little bit down. Alright. So it like goes down to my knees. It has a little slip right here. I literally just got this yesterday at Old Navy and I love it. I'm wearing these American Eagle jeans I've always had. They are like a little distressed from the back and from the front and I really like them. They're jeggings, they're really stretchy and really comfy. And this little old navy shirt, it's so cute. It like goes, I love the shirts that like go up to here because they cover like a lot of my shoulders. I hate my shoulders. And it's really slouchy and stuff. And then I'm just wearing this little bralette, lace bralette from Pins and Needles. I think I got this at um, Urban Outfitters. And yeah, and now I'm gonna go curl my hair and my eyelashes and then put a little bit of mascara on maybe i don't even know because i hate taking it off at the end of the day so i don't really wear that much mascara lately unless i'm going to like an event or something you know that i really need to wear it but yeah i love this little cardigan i'm totally gonna go back and get more because it's so cute all right let's go do my hair now all right so do my hair real quick done with my hair 
I have a hair. I feel like I have a hair in my mouth. I'm done with my hair and outfits and everything. Obviously, Leo is ready. He don't touch me. He's been ready for a while. He actually had me put on his shoes. I don't know if you guys saw me. Yeah, you guys saw me put on, on his shoes. I'm pretty sure I recorded it. And then, while I was doing my makeup, he wanted me to put on his beanie. And then he also, I also put on his little. Yeah. Um, I know. But he's not feeling good. Last night was not a good night. Fuck, baby, you don't feel good. He's not feeling good last night. He got a fever around 2 in the morning. I don't understand why. I feel like it's because of his teeth. He's getting in his corner teeth, which they say are very painful. Um, after the molars, like the... I forgot what those are called, but yeah, they're very painful. So I feel really bad for my little baby, but I hope he feels better throughout the day. I've been giving him Tylenol every four hours how indicated and I hope he's feeling better. He hasn't had a fever anymore, but I'm gonna go get some batteries for a thermometer because it died last night and I had no more batteries. It takes those little circle flat ones. So obviously those are the ones that I never have because I have a bunch of batteries. So I'm gonna buy two packs of those so I never run out. My baby is sick. My poor baby, he is so sick. He just feels like dying. He is not feeling today. You want to go to Target? No? <gasps> you don't want to go to Target? Can we please? Please? I was on a Target. 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 Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of gloss on my hair. I will be right here. <laughs> so I use the Moroccan oil molding cream and um, I use it with this toothbrush. I just got this toothbrush for 99 cents. And all I do is like dip the toothbrush on here as good as I could, like so. And I put my baby hairs down. So I have all of these right here. So what I do is I part them in half and part them in half so I can have like my baby. Okay, hold on, baby. And then I just kind of like glue them Mommy. down with Mommy. this cream. Mommy. Baby, hold on. Like so. There we go. And there we go. And then just kind of down these extra baby hairs. No, no, no. And do the same thing to the other side. No, I said no. Leo. Sierra Leo. Do the same thing to this side. Mommy. I'm not your grammy. Mommy. Mommy. Yeah, you better say mommy. Mommy. Wow. Okay. And now that I've combed down these, it looks so much better. No, no, no. No, no, no. Now I'm gonna go with my two fingers, rub it on my other two fingers, and then just kind of run it through my hair. And then with these two, bring it these three. So with these two, I rub it, and then I rub it onto these, and go like this, and then. Just run my fingers through my hair. Just so it looks very um, clean while it's so messy, you know what I mean? Because it's such a messy look that you don't want it to have too many hairs sticking up. Like the normal is fine, like these little ones, obviously. But like, you don't want too much hair. And then after I do that, to make it even more messier, poofier. Let me get something real quick. I go in with my triple sec by dry bar. Shake it up a little. And then all I do is like pull out my hair like this. And that's it. And it smells so freaking good. Okay, so do you see this side and then you see this side, it's all flat. So flat, all oh, my So good. So I'm gonna 
to do the same thing to this side. Just like, I just like, I don't know how to explain it. I just go like this and kind of just part my hair. my hair because it's so long I've never really been the type to not wash my hair I've tried it I can't do it I can't go without washing my hair I just don't like the feeling of it so yeah I like to wash my hair every single night don't kill me if you know all the logistics of why you shouldn't wash it don't kill me I just hate the feeling of greasy hair sorry so then I use other things to make it look dirty or I don't know, like, make it have that oomph, like they say. So triple sec is a big must for um, volume. You could also, like, if I was going out to a party or something, I would stick my finger through my roots, separate my roots, and spray a little bit more of this triple sec and hairspray, and then, like, run my fingers through it, or even um, some dry shampoo. It'll kind of give the root more of a lift. But I like this like slick look right here, kind of like stuck to my head. And then I like this a little bit fluffier. So throughout the day, all I do, whoa, <laughs> why are you picking it up? Throughout the day, all I do is like, you know, just kind of like shake my hair up a little. So it could get kind of like knotted, not really because it's too clean for that. But it gets like little knots, which make it lift a little, as you can see. So yeah, now I'm gonna go. We're gonna head to Target while he takes a nap in the car. We're gonna head out now and we will see you guys in a little bit once we're out running errands. Say bye. <laughs> right, so I'm at Target now. I hope you can see me good because the lighting Thank you. is weird. So and I just heard the song oh, of, yeah, it's called Him and I by g Easy and Hazley and oh my god, I love that song. It's so cute. Say hi. Sit down. So we are at Target and I am in the baking aisle and I'm getting some more chocolate morsels for that rich cracker recipe and then I'm getting stuff to make another um, dessert that I want to make and yeah just wanted to update you guys all I have in my cart is those chocolate morsels and some washcloths that's it I'm embarrassed to vlog in public no Leo but yeah, we also got ourselves a sugar cookie, the snowman sugar cookie. I love the sugar cookie from Starbucks. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's cart. And then I got a toasted white mocha, and it's so bomb. And yeah, I'll update you guys whenever there's something to update you on. you guys okay I'll see you inside so right now I'm making myself I made up uh, wheels already I just um, make this chicken grilled it a little bit and now I am making my lunch my chicken is ready now I'm just uh, doing the green beans I loved grilled or like crisp a little crisp little on the top side uh, green beans with just some pepper and garlic salt and then a little bit of cayenne pepper 
Oh my God. The perfect thing. For dinner, I'm gonna make the exact same thing, but I'm also gonna add some corn. And that's gonna be our dinner for today. Um, I'm also gonna have some brown rice mixed with quinoa. So, de so delicious and a little bit healthy. It's not completely healthy, but it's healthier than other options. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So just watch me cook. I'm gonna use today. I thought I had the one with quinoa, but I get these at uh, Costco and these are ready to eat in 90 seconds. This isn't the yummiest, but it is good. I'm just putting away all the groceries so you can watch me do that real quick. So I have this little cookie thing that I use. It's not an actual cookie jar, but I use it to put all our cookies in it. So. Did you get this? Did you get this?
I don't feel like washing dishes, so I'm gonna eat everything with a plastic fork and a paper plate because that's how I do. <laughs> Hopefully right now it's not since the camera is on, but giving him his medicine always takes forever. inspiration for body goals like I like her body it's like I mean for like a petite person like me I mean we also can't expect to look like so banging when we have like no boobs or booty so we have to build everything from scratch so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you did please give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe down below and for today's question um let me know where are you from I'm from California. Where are you from? Are you in California or where are you at while you're watching this? Where do you live? If that makes any sense. Whatever you want, but just tell me where are you from? And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!